Edmonton sets its eyes on Seattle in search of their third victory of the season. They look to close out this road trip on a high note after what head coach Jay Woodcroft and the players described as two poor and disappointing results in Vancouver and San Jose. When you're talking about doing some good things and you want to reaffirm good things in your game, it's important that you get a result. And, and when you do, what happens is it, it becomes a, a loop, a virtuous loop, where um, you're working on things, um, you, you make sure you go out and execute those things, and then you're rewarded for those things. Uh, for various reasons, we haven't been rewarded yet this year. Um, nobody has lost um, you know, their spirit about it. We're continuing to maintain um, you know, a positive outlook, but as I said, it's important to get the result because that's what reaffirms that belief system. Now the Oilers face off against a Kraken squad that's gone 3-1-1 one one in their last five games following a slow 2-5-2 two, two start to the season. Now with the Oilers holding an optional skate this morning, we take a look at the lines from Friday's full skate in Seattle. And it's the same lineup that began the game in San Jose with McLeod, McDavid and Hyman leading the forward group. Now both McDavid and Dreisaitl have never been held without a point versus the Kraken as McDavid has scored in six consecutive games against Seattle while Dreisaitl matches McDavid's 15 career points against the NHL's 32nd franchise. McDavid has 15 in seven games while Dreisaitl in six. Stuart Skinner was the first goaltender off the ice this morning so it's likely he gets the nod in goal tonight. It'll be Skinner's third consecutive start and eighth of the regular season. For this TV, I'm Tony Brar.